Saving a search and subscribing to email alerts. You can save regularly used search queries to your workbench and rerun these searches at any time with just two clicks. For this example, we use nucleotide search. Navigate to the search page by mousing over the search data tab in the gray navigation bar and click nucleotide sequences. Now let's say that you are interested in finding H1N1 influenza HA nucleotide sequences isolated from swine since 2009. As you can see by default, segment nucleotide and influenza A are pre-selected. Now type H1N1 in the subtype box. IRD shows an instant count of search results here to help you search quickly and efficiently. Now select segment HA swine from the host list, then type in 2009. If you are only interested in segments that are highly similar to 2009 pandemic H1N1 sequences, you can simply click the checkbox that is next to filtering of records with high similarity to 2009 pandemic H1N1 sequences and click the radio button next to include only pandemic H1N1 sequences. IRD has now computed all sequences in IRD and identified pandemic H1N1-like sequences. For details about how the pandemic H1N1-like sequences are defined, check out the SOP document. In cases where you want to use more search options, you can click Show All next to Advanced Options to see other search fields. After you have selected the search criteria, click the Search button to perform the query. The search results are displayed in a table. You can sort the table by clicking a column header. As well as display settings for two or more display fields. Clicking the blue eye will take you to the details page. Now navigate back to the search results page by clicking the results link in the breadcrumb. If you would like to save the search query for a future visit, click the Save Search button at the top of the search results table. IRD generates a generic name for each search. Update it to a specific name so that you can recognize it easily later. If you want to be notified when new data matching your search query has been released, you can check the subscribe checkbox to sign up for search alerts. Now click Save. The search will now be saved to your workbench. In the future, you can come back to the IRD site and rerun the search with just two clicks. If you have subscribed to the Search Alert service, IRD will rerun your saved search every week and send you an email alert when new sequences are released in IRD that match your saved search. If you want to save a search that you previously ran during the same session, you can still save it from your workbench. Navigate to the workbench area and select the checkbox next to the search that you would like to save. Now, click the More Actions button and select the Save Unsaved Searches option. Enter a search name and click Save. Now, the search is saved to your workbench.